Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Crazy Cycling Channel. And today I'd like to review my Topeak Mountain Morph bicycle pump, my trusty Mountain Morph. And I've literally had this thing for about 15 years. I'm sure I had it when I was in college and I went to college in 2007. So it's been a long time. Maybe I even had this in high school. So the Topeak Mountain Morph, this is an excellent pump. I looked at the prices today in autumn 2021 and it costs about $30 or 30 pounds in uh, the UK. It's probably 30 euros in Europe. I didn't look, but it's very affordable. And what makes this thing so special is kind of what's, you know, what the name says. It unfolds into basically a floor pump. So hose unfolds, a little foot, top, the handle unfolds. And then you can put your foot on that little piece and you basically have a floor pump. This is a single action pump, meaning that air is only blown out when you push, not when you pull, but it's got a big cylinder here. So it blows a lot of air. You can blow up mountain bike tires with this. It's kind of meant for mountain biking, but you can also use it on a road bike. And I've even inflated tubeless tires with this before. It was a little difficult, but you can do it. And I don't have a floor pump because I don't need it. I mean, it, obviously it would be nice, but with this, you don't need it. I've had this for 15 years, as I said, and it's never let me down. And I've inflated hundreds of tires with this, all kinds of tires. The little um, piece here, it's not an automatic switch between Schrader and Presta valves. You have to unscrew this uh, little cap. This is common on most pumps. You unscrew the cap um, and then inside there, there's a little piece that you just flip around to fit different types of valves. I think it even fits those uh, Dutch valves that are kind of a bit like the um, Schrader valves. I don't know what they're called. There's other valves out there that you may or may not have seen depending what country you live in. This works on them as well and it's just really, really good. And it is fairly portable as well. It doesn't weigh very much. If you're super into your ultralight cycling, or maybe you're a roadie who keeps it in your jersey pocket, there's probably a better option for you, but this pump is not that heavy. And the advantage of this is it's really comfortable. You can pump and pump and pump and pump because you're not gonna wear your hand out as much because you can step on that. And it moves a lot of air, so it doesn't take as many pumps to pump up your tires. Going on tour, I'd definitely take this. And if I had a backpack or anything like that, I would take it as well. It came with a mounting bracket for a water bottle cage. It was actually pretty decent. I think I still have that somewhere, but I never really used it because it does kind of get in the way of your actual water bottle. Um, but you do have that versatility as well. And like I said, this pump has been incredibly durable. I keep waiting for it to break, but as I said, 15 years and it still works perfectly. Uh, so affordable durable, long lasting. I tend to like Topeak products a lot. I think that they often have kind of gimmicky names and the designs even are almost a bit gimmicky, but the quality is always very high. So very happy with this pump. And if you're looking for something that can replace a floor pump or that can give you a lot of capabilities when you're out there on your cycle adventure, check this pump out. I'm just gonna demonstrate the pump for you just quickly. So I've got my gravel bike here. This has uh, Presta valves, which are those thinner ones with an extra um, little screw inside. So make sure that's loose. Undo my mountain morph. And the other beauty of this is you actually have this hose which can reach your valve. Pull that up. This is now set for Presta valves. Obviously, if I had a Schrader valve, like I said, I would just have to turn the little rubber piece inside the nozzle around. And because of this hose, I'm not awkwardly trying to pump with my hands, which can put pressure on the valve as well. Instead, this is nicely just clamped to the valve, undo the top, and we can pump. So go as much as you want. I'm gonna maybe go, I don't know, 15 pumps, something like that. And we're done, it was really easy, so. Just undo that and we can close our valve again and obviously fold up the mountain morph. So hose folds, attaches to a little hook, 
the foot folds and the handle folds and now this is basically the size of a lot of hand pumps anyway so that's really the beauty of this thing so yeah let's get back to the review so hope you enjoyed that little review hope you enjoy my channel uh if you do maybe i'll see you in the next video or as a subscriber and as always i hope you have a great rest of your day